my friends and welcome again to Aunt Mikey's Place. Aunt Mikey here and I'm so excited that you've joined me. I have someone very special to share with you. Um, the latest Barbie signature doll um, and it is the lovely Laverne Cox. You can get her right now from um, Mattel's website as well as from other retailers such as Amazon. I bought mine from Target. I don't know if she's available on store shelves as I have not been out to the stores for a little while. But I wanted to share her with you and um, I think it's quite appropriate since it is Pride Month um, to have her here. This doll is quite special because the actress herself was involved in many of the choices such as the hair and the skin tone um, and designing the outfit. So I'm really, really excited about this doll. Um, we'll bring her in a little close so you can see her quote here in the package. It says, it's important with all the messages that might tell you otherwise that you have it within yourself to say that I am smart I am beautiful. I'm amazing. I'm enough. Isn't that great? She's she's fabulous. She's fabulous. If you don't already know her, Google her. She's she's just wonderful. Um, and we're just looking at her in the box. I don't have all my light on because of you can see this <laughs> the amount of reflection that's happening here. Um, and here she is on the back, and we can see this lovely back of the package. Um, and I'll just hold it there for a minute in case you want to read some of that. And I'll have images at the end of the video as well. All right. So normally I would keep a collector doll like this in box, but sadly mine came with some serious damage to the packaging. You can see that it cracked here and there's a big chunk of plastic missing. Um, it's kind of hard to see with all the reflection, but yeah, I'm really, really unhappy with that. Um, this plastic is quite brittle, so it's very easy for those corners to break. But um, yeah, I'm not pleased with the amount of damage, but that just means I have an excuse to take her out, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to turn the camera off. I'm going to go ahead and unbox her and we'll get a closer look at the doll and her outfit. Okay, here she is. She's all out of her box and all my usual complaints about Mattel and the way they box dolls. Holy cow, all the little plastic bits and rubber bands and things, but she's free um, and we're going to take a closer look at her. Um, she does come with a stand, so she's standing in her own stand. Let me bring this back a little so you can kind of see. Um, I don't have a lot of room here, so we'll, we'll get a better look here in a minute. Um, but I want to start with her face. The facial sculpt is unique to this doll. Um, it is specifically called Laverne Cox, and it was designed for her. Um, I feel like they didn't quite nail her appearance. Um, they did a pretty good job, but I feel like Mattel can do better. And I think the biggest problem is in the makeup. I feel like they do a uh, minimal makeup and we could use some more um, contouring and that kind of thing to really make it look like her. But they did a pretty good job um, looking at my doll and didn't notice until I had her on camera that there's a little flaw on her lips um, here on the left side. And you could just kind of see it. It looks like a line. I, I, it's annoying me now that I can see it, but um, I'll get over it. It's fine. You won't see it when you're not looking at her that close. Um, I'll get in closer so we can get a good look at her eyes. So you can get a really good look here at um, her beautiful eyes and the beautiful makeup that they did on her eyes. I think they did a fantastic job. If we turn her, we can see her lovely earrings. Um, and uh, so she's got these beautiful uh, kind of uh, diamond looking earrings. Um, so we can really get a good look at those. And let's turn her around so we can take a 
look at her hair as well. I love that they did um, multicolors of hair here so that we really get more of like what her real hair would look like. And it's really soft except that they did use some product in here to get for the curls. And so I'm really kind of annoyed with that. Um, so she's got some box hair. It just kind of really needs to be brushed out. She does have this curl in front, which is super crunchy. It is solid. So I'm just going to leave that alone for right now and decide what I'm going to do there. Um, and, uh, so I'm going to take her off the stand so we can get a closer look at her outfit. So, um, just to get a little closer look at the stand itself, it is the, um, what has become the norm for Barbie stands. Um, it's kind of a white, uh, translucent plastic with glitter, um, and a gray base. Nothing super special there. Um, I did find that, um, she fits in the, uh, stand very well. So, uh, I like that they, that they made it so that it fits her better than I find that it fits most of the dolls with their clothes on. Um, you can see here she's got this lovely dark red um, corset and tulle skirt. It's just gorgeous and I love how the glittery um, bodysuit underneath looks underneath the tulle. Um, it's, it may not be as easy to see on camera as in person, but I love the way it shimmers when, um, when I move her and have the the tool over the top. Um, we can see her hands. She has the uh, has silver nail polish. Um, this doll is on the uh, the superhero body, um, so she has double joints at the elbow. She moves at the shoulder. Um, she does have a knee joint, and no, there is no ankle joint. Um, so I, I really like this body type though. I love that they had her, that she was able to choose this for her doll. And I think it's really suits the, suits her. It suits the doll. It's just gorgeous. So we're going to go ahead and take off the, uh, the corset. It is a kind of a faux leather. It's held in the back with, um, <clears throat> Velcro. And of course we have the Barbie tag there inside and we can see it's got these ribbons um, over all the seams. This is really, really cute. Oh, there's the string. They had this string holding it together. Um, so I just clipped those so it could be removed. But so there's the, the bodice. We're going to set that aside or corset or however you want to call it. Um, and then she's got this lovely tulle overdress that goes over one shoulder and um, goes all the way down to the floor. Um, now, as this is tulle, you do want to be careful if you're removing it. Um, it does have a Velcro closure in the back. Uh, Velcro can very much stick to the tulle, so you want to be careful that it doesn't because you don't want to damage it. So we're going to remove that very carefully. And I kind of don't like how the um, the seams ended up here or the, I forget what they call those, darts. Um, because it ended up with like a fold of the tool here, which looks kind of weird to me. But meh, it's whatever. It's mostly, mostly I think the bodice is going to stay on over it. So it won't matter too much. And now we have the uh, tool was sticking to the Velcro on the back of her bodysuit. I'm going to take that off and I'm just fastening the velcro on the back um this really reminds me of kind of a ballerina dress I love it all right we're gonna set that aside so we can get a really good look at this really cool bodysuit this is my favorite part of the outfit mm, I like the corset uh as well but um, so this has uh, clear plastic straps over the shoulders um, and then and we're going to see if we can get those back where they belong. And um, this is a very satiny, very smooth fabric. Um, it's super shiny, very glittery and fits the doll very tight. The shoes are part of the bodysuit. 
um, and they're amazing heels. <clears throat> so it looks really, really cool on her. Um, and I know it's really hard for me to, um, to get a good all picture of the whole doll, uh, with my camera set up on the video, but so I wanted you to be able to see that and it, it's really, really gorgeous. So as, when I saw this and I saw her costume and everything, and, um, I really, really liked her as an actress as well. So I, I just really wanted this doll in my collection. I haven't bought all of the tribute dolls and, um, they haven't done a lot of living humans. Like most of them are, you know, from history, but, uh, Laverne is very much alive and an amazing human being. So, um, I really wanted to add this doll to my collection. She's gorgeous. She's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and the price point, the real price point on this doll, if you're looking for her, is $40. Anything over $40 is someone trying to gouge you for the price. So if you see her over $40, say, for example, on Amazon, just look somewhere else. Like I said, I found her on Target for the 40 um and then you can find her in other places as well i'm sure i don't normally like to do portrait for a video but um i feel like this is the only way we're going to get the full doll on camera um <laughs> without laying her down flat so i really love this doll she's she's really beautiful um like i said the the sparkling coming through the tool the um the lovely faux leather of the corset her her hands are just so delicate and beautiful and and her face and i'm just i really love her she's gorgeous and i'm super glad that i was able to add her to my collection if you're on the fence about this doll i would say totally get her thank you again for watching and for joining me today I really appreciate it. If you're new here, please do click on subscribe. Click like if you enjoyed this video. Click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And until next time, be kind to yourself, be kind to each other, and happy Pride Month! Bye bye